Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your Shirley. My name is Salem Sinny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm feeling very much African in the style. This is what's called a dashiki. And uh, also if you want to get a hold of this, I'll have some links in the description for you to get a hold of some great sellers who can get you also a hold of one of these wonderful dashikis. Well, today I want to talk about an interesting topic. The reality is you don't make good people you find good people. So today I want to give you guys a story that is coming from the good book, from the Bible, that's going to be able to kind of help us talk about this story. See, it's almost the end of 2016 and you're about to enter 2017. And for many people, this is a time where they start thinking of the big picture. They start thinking about doing something new, entering a new phase of life, trying to achieve some goals that you might not have accomplished in 2016, trying to become a better person, thinking about a diet. There's many different things. So with that in mind, it's my goal to provide to you guys an understanding of how is it possible for you to surround yourself with the good people so you can be able to accomplish the goals that you want. See, in Numbers chapter 13, we see a story of Moses. Moses is told by God, he's about to enter the promised land. As they're coming, they're not at the border about to enter this land, but they didn't know really what to expect over there. So God's speaking to Moses and say, hey, go out and send spies into this land. He said, send men out to spy on the land of Canaan, which I've given to the people of Israel. This is God speaking to Moses, so Moses goes out the work finds a couple men brave men there were about 12 of them to go out and spy onto the land as you continue to read a couple verses down the Bible tells uh, the Bible tells us that Moses picked up the men and sent them out into the wilderness to go in different part different regions to go out and get a report of what is in a promised land they stayed there for about 40 days you know recall getting information and now after the 40 days have passed they're returning they're returning to give the report they're returning to give their assessment of this little mission that Moses had put them on. So this is the report of the spies who came back. This is what they're saying. They said, the land that you send us, it flows of milk and honey. Here are all the fruits. So they brought up some samples to be able to show the people, not just Moses, Aaron, but also all the people of Israel who had gathered to hear the exciting stories of what happened over there. So they say, listen, it flows with milk and honey. It is just an amazing area. But the men that we found there, the people who inhabit this land are strong. They're mighty men, they're son of Anak, which basically means that there were people who had built stronger stature. I mean, probably you were like basketball players or something. I don't know. What I'm saying is they were relatively interesting type of men. So as the spies are describing the people who are coming over there, they're saying these people we saw over there, they seem to be so much stronger than us. In describing these men, they went even as far as saying to ourselves, we seem like grasshoppers compared to them. These people are giant men. So after giving this report, as you can imagine, a lot of the children of Israel who first were excited about the milk and honey, now they're freaking out. They're like, how are we going to be able to actually she conquered this land if everybody over there are giants and super warriors and incredible uh, men of war how are we going to be able to defeat this man Caleb was there listening to everything he quieted the crowd down and told them listen we can attack them all at once we can overcome it we can conquer this land we can do this it's interesting that Caleb was also among the 12 but what he saw the perspective that he saw was different than what the 12 saw not everybody will see what you see because not everybody is the same see often enough we're trying to create and surround ourselves with people that we automatically think that we're going to be able to impose our vision our way of thinking upon them to some degree it's true and to some degree it is false why because see in life most people we see through their lenses of their reality their past or the things that they're trying to learn or unlearn your job especially as you're entering 2017 you want to accomplish something surround yourself with good people so i'm gonna give you guys a few tips that's helped me identify some of those good people so that you don't end up with about 10 to 11 of spies who think we can't conquer this land and find yourself that one Caleb that can be able to say you know what let's go at once let's over overtake them let's overcome them because we can take on this land how can you surround yourself with a Caleb and not the other spies who only see defeat instead of the land to conquer number one thing that is very important you yourself must be good you cannot wait or expect for others to be good if yourself you cannot 
hold yourself to that same standard. And number two, another way for you to identify or find those good people is to deliberately and intentionally look for them. See, often enough, when you train or when you're sorting to find the good people, you have to understand that sorting and training is not to make a bad person good, but instead it is to decipher within the midst of average people who is that great person, who is that good person out of there. In the midst of those people who are willing to stay average, who is the one person who wants to be a leader. In this specific story, we see that Caleb let them speak and let them give their negative report. And then Caleb quieted the people, the Bible says, and then said to them, we can do this, we can overcome, we can go. Why? Because he also believed in the promise that God gave them. See, if God gives you something, it does not mean that there won't be any opposition, but you have to have the courage to go and pursue what's already been given to you. The third thing that can help you also be able to find those good people is to always cast a wide net. What do I mean by that? You must extend your net to be able to get all those talented people, to get those resourceful people, to get those leadership people. Out of every thousand person, there's gonna be that one person that can be able to take your business to the next level. Out of all the 1,000 people, there's gonna be that one person that can be able to take your ministry, take your family to the next level. Yeah, you're trying to date everyone, but the reality is there's only one person that is there that can be able to really fulfill the dreams, help you in your marriage, help you raise the kid that you're trying to have. So, but you have to be willing to not be so narrow-minded. You have to be able to open up your eyes as you're looking for people. Once you find that person, now you can be focused towards the goals you want. But before you find that person, you have to be willing to find new places, go to different areas. If you keep doing what you've been doing, expect to continue to get the result you've been getting. And the fourth thing that can help you also as you're going there, be willing to be disappointed. We're not always gonna find the perfect people. For example, in a deck of cards, right, there's only about four aces if you tell you you're playing with a typical deck of cards. So for you to find those aces, you have to be willing to go through the twos, the threes, the four, the fives, until you find the aces. You have to go be willing to go through the, the nine, the eights, the seven, the six, those people aren't aces, but those people at the same time can help you to find those aces. Uh, because the more you go through those people, the closer you're getting towards those aces. And you know, in life, you will be disappointed. Disappointment is part of life. You have to be encouraged. You have to strengthen yourself and tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to accept some of the disappointment because it's helping me get closer to the goal that I want. So I hope these tips can help you to understand that one, listen, you cannot make people good. Only God can. Our job is to find those good people and be able to surround ourselves with those good people as we're marching towards a new year, towards new plans, towards new goal. So 2017 is coming on. I encourage you, surround yourself good, with good people. I heard the statement and I love it very much. You cannot send ducks to ego school. I hope this can be a help for you. Let me know in the comment section if this uh, helped you. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And more importantly, share this. This can also be an encouragement for someone. Have a great end of the year as you're moving to a new year. Be blessed. If you're watching this and this is no longer 2016, remember this principle applies. It's not just for this specific year. It applies to any period of your life. The moment you want to change and surround yourself with great people, put these four tips into action to be able to find the right people. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a wonderful comment in the comment section. I read all the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Remember Remember, never forget this, your God's very best. Go find others out there as well. See you guys, peace.